So I have two possible explanations, and both are damning, for why the notorious sex offenders, the public ones anyway, are liberals. Okay? We're looking at Harvey Weinstein, Jeff Zucker, Matt Lauer, Chris Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, or go to the U.S. Senate. More liberals, Chris Dodd, Bob Packwood, great name for <laughs> Packwood, for a guy who uh, is putting his mm, in the wrong places. Al Franken, Ted Kennedy. That guy committed more malfeasance in one night than most of us do in a lifetime. And he kept getting reelected. So explanation one, none of these liberals is devout. Okay, I'm quite certain these are not regular church goers or synagogue goers. They have thus fewer standards that they will abide by. I don't think they have more raging hormones than Republicans, okay? Men are pretty similar. But Republicans channel things more properly. Conservatives do conserve propriety. Whereas liberals, they don't mind that propriety is going out the window. They do that with their other values too. Now here's the other possible reason that the liberals have values that they think they're above it. They come to be high and mighty and disdainful of other people and give themselves different rules than other people. It somewhat explains the hypocrisy of so many governing liberals who would force masks on people, but would take them off themselves when in private. Either one is a sign that conservatism should be part of the people who are governing us. Being governed by recklessness, and modern liberals have that, is a danger to all of us. Take these sex scandals seriously, because what I'm alleging is it's more than about sex. It's about values, standards, elitism, and us versus them. The them is a group that we shouldn't want to be governed by. I'm Mark Stewart.